Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a nice little thing here, it's called PC Pal and it was created by VTech in 1989. This version I have here is Swedish but it was uh, existing in an English version as well and I don't know how many other languages it has. So here we go and I hope you like this video, especially if you were born in the 80s or 90s or something like that, you might have memories of this. The PC Pal arrived with a cartridge system, so you could put cartridges in the slot to the right of it. And once you inserted these cartridges, the game started. However, you could also use codes to start the game, so you didn't actually need the cartridges, it was only made to read the card and make it easier to play them. I'm subtracting that cartridge, alright. It also came with an expansion slot where you could plug an adapter to allow the PC Pal to read more advanced blue cartridges that used multiplications, divisions and similar. And as with all old systems, it used a lot of batteries, 4C batteries to be precise. It also came with a pair of extendable legs that you could flip out if you need a better angle to see what was going on on the LCD screen that was very light sensitive. It also came with a handle, so if you for some reason wanted to carry it around, you were free to do that. The 9 games that came with the console were tucked away in the side of the machine. You just opened this lid and out they poured. While it is true that the machine only came with 9 cartridges, you could also flip them around to get a new game. This made it a total of 18 different games. The first game is a pretty standard game, it's addition, so you just take 1 plus 1 and 2 plus 2 and stuff like that. If you fail you get this awful tune and a sad face. This is common for all of the games. And if you win on the other hand, you get this catchy tune. The second side offers addition too. It's basically the same game but with harder numbers. And if you didn't understand, this computer was not made for grown-ups. It was designed for kids between the ages of 3 and 7. Then we also have subtraction which is basically the same crap. You just put in the code, I don't need that cartridge. Then there's with this one, it's just called counting. This one confused me a lot because I thought I was supposed to find some kind of pattern or something, but it turned out it was much easier than that and I had overcomplicated things. The only thing you were supposed to do was to count the amount of this number and that's that. Also when I played this I found this little button. It changes the light setting on the screen so you can see or you can see even worse. I don't know why would you use it in half mode but it's possible if you want to. Next up is Moth Quiz. You probably think this might be something groundbreaking, but it isn't. It's just addition and subtraction mixed into one. Oh, and they also added a time limit this time. Next! Oh, wait, did you see that? When I touch this display with my finger, the colors are starting to float out or something and the LCD screen turns really, really strange. I used to do this as a child, but the instruction manual said not to do this because you could harm the equipment. Oops. Next up is the number hunt. What this is, you're basically supposed to find a number between 10 and 99. It's not very hard, you just halve it and then you find it. Also, you get different points at the end of this depending on how well you perform. Speaking of which, whenever you perform extraordinarily well in a game, this guy claps his hands to reward you. Memory match or memory tag? I guess I'll start with the memory match, it seems nice. In this game you get a set of numbers which grows in numbers every turn. The goal is to remember the combination for the next round. In memory tag, your goal is just to find two similar numbers or letters. Not complicated. Next one. When I picked up the puzzle one, I thought, hmm, art on this machine. How can this work? The display is so small. Well, turns out it was my worst nightmare. You're supposed to move these numbers around to get the matching picture from the first one. My friends hate these, and so do I sometimes. There is no possibility that a 4 to 7 year old is going to manage to complete this without a hassle. Even grown-ups may have a problem with these things. I mean seriously, what were VTech thinking when they made that? Let's check out the back side of this thing. Huh? Oh, drawing. This is gonna be fun. Or? This program was one of my favorites when I was a kid. You can draw your own pictures, but it's even cooler than that. You can select a part of the piece and animate it using 4 frames. This is a huge feature considering this computer was made for kids. This is where things start to get interesting. You see, this machine is not just about mathematics and alphabets. It's also about art and spelling and it can show some animations and stuff like this. This one is called Missing Letter and you're supposed to fill in the missing letter while watching the animation. 
This is cool because I remember when I was a kid I wanted to see all of these because I want to see all the items different animations and there are a lot of different items. This thing was supposed to show kids the alphabet so for that reason there is no QWERTY around here. And on the Swedish version they really messed up O, A and Ö which are supposed to be at the end of the alphabet. Flipping the missing letter over will find some spelling instead. This is basically the same thing, just you don't see any letters so you have to spell everything out from the start. Believe it or not, there is actually a game called Palball for this computer. This has no mathematics, no spelling, nothing. It's just a game where you're supposed to catch a ball that's bouncing off a wall. Simple. If you know how to play properly. There is also a composer called Create a Song in which you create songs. Not much more to say, except it supports Do Re Mi Fa Sol Latina on the keyboard. These two games are very special compared to the other ones, you'll soon find out why. The name of these are Hodgepodge and Guess Worse. I suppose they didn't want to use the word hangman on a kid's game. Let's start out with a hodgepodge. The first word, NPA. So you just scramble the letters and you get the word panna, which means frying pan in Swedish. And that's how the game works. It's time to play Guess the Words. I don't know why they didn't call it hangman because there are hanged man on the cartridge. And also in the game when you lose, the man gets hanged. So, I don't know, maybe this was a parental thing, rating thing, whatever, it's there. And you all know how it works. The cool thing about Hodgepodge and Guess Words is that both of these games support two players. These are the only two games for the system that allows that. So, when I two am going to play this, two my brother... Two I can play this game! I'm gonna play this game! Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> I'm gonna play this game! I'm gonna play this game! Thank you. I'm gonna play this game with you! With me! With you! With me! With so, let's start out with Hodgepodge 2 player. This is cool because it allows you to make your own words for your friends or enemies to solve. The Guess Words one is also cool to play multiplayer, however it does come with a very 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 big flaw. You can't see what the other person is writing, so they can make up a word that doesn't even exist or is even not close to a word. I didn't try doing all the, all the, the B and the, 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 So, uh, these games offer a lot of variety, and you get a lot of them for a the good price, so if you like vintage games and want something to teach your children with, then it's definitely worth to check this out. <laughs> and I strongly recommend <laughs> it. It's it, my game, <laughs> That... What the fuck? Give me back my game! It's a super rarity! It's worth 200 Swedish crowns! <laughs> Thank you. All in all, this is a nice little piece. Uh, you should be able to find these on eBay for around 20 bucks or something, and I definitely think it's worth it. You might lose your brother, and you might never see him again, because he suffers from a serious depression after you trick him with a word that doesn't exist, but if you can refrain from doing that, I promise this little toy is gonna give you or your children, or maybe someone else you like, a lot of fun and happiness. So I hope this video gave you a lot of nice nostalgia and check back later and I might show you something more interesting. For now, this is it. Don't forget to subscribe, and well, that's what I just want to say. Subscribe, share, and like, and all that. Bye.
Game. Ja, das ist der Ernst. Ich hab's geplant, das Game. Ich hab's geplant, das Game. Play the game with me. Oh. Play the game with me. <laughs> to try this game out with me and discover this mysterious two-play mode, I have my brother with me. <laughs> it's very enthusiastic to try this. I want to play, I want to play, I want to play, give me game, I want to play the game, this is the game, I want to play. <laughs> you can be sure that this is a great game to play. Just look at it, it's two player. Can you help me put this in? Yes, I'm looking at some rest. You! I'm a quick dad. Oh, film are you? Yeah. Shit. Why is it? Let's start off.